I modified my email signature to include the line, I'm dyslexic, expect good engineering advice and small typos. It's the only way I've ever known how to be, is it's dyslexic, right? I was diagnosed with dyslexia when I went to university. To me, it actually felt like a eureka moment. It gave me acceptance and a bit more tolerance or sort of understanding of my own limitations. So I wasn't gonna punish myself for not being able to spell because my brain wasn't able to put the words down on a piece of paper. I'm a consulting engineer who looks after some design work for stormwater and landfills. I came to engineering a bit later than most people. I was uh, previously a soldier and a, a builder, a set builder for movies, and still didn't quite feel fulfilled. So I'd, I took a year to travel the world after that. I wanted to be able to help a lot of the communities that I'd travelled through that didn't have that engineering to draw on, I suppose. And that was sort of my inspiration to, to become an engineer. I think relationships make the world go round and if you don't understand where someone's coming from you struggle to be able to communicate effectively whether that's from the client side or the consulting side and so being sharing dyslexia with my clients has helped them understand where I'm coming from and some of the good aspects that my out-of-the-box thinking uh, may stem from that. I think having uh, just an environment that with, with accepting people, embracing diversity is a desired attribute for people. So just having that as being like, oh, that's someone who's neurodiverse, they're going to think outside the box, they're going to bring something to the table that I don't have. Early in my career, I hadn't been particularly open about it. In the last couple of years, I've found that that's not a bad thing to do things differently and to be open about that. Being an engineer gives me a bit of purpose, I suppose. At the end of the day, I feel good. I come home and I'm like, I've helped solve a problem, I've helped someone. My advice to other people with dyslexia is that there's enough support out there to do whatever you feel like doing. And if it's engineering and in the STEM subjects, then go for it. When you do make it to professional engineering, that people will welcome you.